Honestly, it started off as I needed a ride, and I was like, who can I call? And I was like, I wonder if Sarah's here. So I texted her, and of course she was free. We kept hanging out every now and then after that, and it got to the point where she was like, are you gonna ask me out or not? So I ended up asking her out in Waffle House. Of course she said no. That's Sarah's ring. <laughs> well, the big day's finally here. So, Dalton, Sarah's parents just passed the torch to you. The ones who raised her and nurtured her and loved her for the past 24 years, they're now entrusting you to do the same. One night, she showed up with the Corvette, and I had more interest in the car than anything, and figured out that it was her driving it, and um, discovered how wonderful of a girl she was. And I hear this rumble come up the driveway. Yep. So I stick my head around the corner, and there's this C6 bed, I think it was. Dalton and Sarah get out, and Dalton was driving, I think. He introduced me. I don't, she didn't stay long. She left. Dalton goes, did you see her? I said, yeah, I barely even called her name. He goes, I'm talking about the car. <laughs> Sarah was never really a get in the dirt and play kind of girl. But when Dalton came along, they, you know, ride the dirt bikes and get on the four wheeler and want to come to the country. I mean, it's just like been just such a blessing. He's looking down at me with this grin on his face and I'm going, what have you done? Come on, you know, fess up. Fess up, what have you done? He goes, mom, dad, I want to ask Sarah to marry me. So, you know, I work in a space program with astronauts, and they all say the same thing. They go up in space by themselves. And it's a pretty big deal, but it's a shallow victory. But when they go with somebody else, a colleague or a partner, that changes the whole experience. So, to me, that that's like a wedding with Dalton and Sarah, because when they do things together, ride motorbike, barbecue, argue, whatever they do, they're doing it together, and that's how life is supposed to be sent. You know, my thought right this second, I remember the moment you came out of your mother and they put in the French, fr the French fryer warmer yeah. in Rhode Island. Yeah. And I held you and I thought, wow, this is the change of a life forever. Wow. And in, in a flash, here you are. Crazy. Flown by. Wow. I always thought Dalton was the cute Hoover guy that drove this big truck, but we both had significant others all the way through high school, so never dated, but always thought we were interested in each other, I guess. When I got to Auburn sophomore year, we started to hang out a little bit and became close and she finally asked, when are you gonna ask me out? And I gave in and I asked her out in Waffle House and of course she said no. And uh, she turned around in Waffle House's parking lot and I said, I'm gonna ask you one more time. And she said yes. and. We started dating. Just last night from our friend just really showed the character of Dalton and um, the way he treats and serves everyone around him. Um, so yeah, just a sweet, loving, super outgoing, um, great guy. She always brings light into the room and always brings uh, a smile on her face and serving anyone and everyone around her. started in the 1500s in Scotland, migrated through Ireland, England, South Carolina, Mississippi, and then Birmingham. Sarah Taylor is the last Taylor. So she's gonna become a Nelson. I love it, love Dalton, love Sarah, but just y'all know, 
the Taylor family is pissed. <laughs> I was cut from steel, I was built for grit, I was made to fly, cause I was born for this, yeah. Yeah.